Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to Talking Balls. I've got it right this week, I've not forgot to mention that. No. We are talking the brand new Strix and Divide golf ball. You'll see over on James Robinson's channel. I just I got as close as to a hole in one I've probably you ever got. You can send that shot over so you can show them. You can now. send it over and I'll put it back on it there. It was a great golf shot. It was. So this year could be the year. But guys, we're doing a little bit of short game and I wanted to talk about how we can practice with these golf balls, how you can improve by even just buying one sleeve of these golf balls. So First of all, we're going to be talking bump and runs a lot. Again, it's a shot that a lot of people use from amateurs to tour professionals. And again, this kind of shot is the one that maybe people don't practice, but we can practice it and start to see what our club face is what doing. Is I know, tell me about it. So what we can do here, guys, is play a bump and run, line the ball up straight towards our target and start to see if you are cutting across the ball or if we're drawing the ball. We're going to be able to start to see what kind of spin axis we are putting onto that. So, setup wise, guys, for this, I have got a pitching wedge here. So, it doesn't have to be an A tine. Again, here we could have used my favourite new club, the new Seven Wood. But we can still go with the pitching wedge, get a little bit of loft to get us over this thicker fringe here, and then get the ball releasing. So, close to the ball, shaft a little bit taller, ball position back. Why is the shaft taller? Because I know this massively helps if you struggle with striking chips but a lot of people don't do it yeah again this encourages the bounce on the toe to interact with the ground it's taking the leading edge away from the ground a little bit so a lot of people have it flat have it forwards and all that does is encourage you to dig here it digs in we're going to use a little bit more bounce on the toe i've got the setup right now but we'll see if i cut across this which we see from a lot of people the club works out here we cut across we can see that ball has worked, don't get me wrong, it's done a good job, you'd be more than happy with that. You can see it spinning off its axis though. But it's pulled left, it's had some spin on, we have no control on direction there, and we don't know how it's going to react. If I do the opposite and my club now works a long way in, which is another trait we see from amateurs and then works out, we're going to get the same, and especially with this one, we'll see exactly what that is doing too much run so it runs out too far we've actually put some draw spin on it we've put a little bit of top spin on very hard to judge so we want to make it nice and neutral and this golf ball is going to help you i'm going to show you how now so there your practice goes by there the my practice goes so i'm i'm ahead of the game yeah we'll go from the same place because chris has had a nice practice we've had a nice practice i'm going to give james a little bit of help in hand here because i'm going to show him the drill that you can do to help you get neutral on these shots the ball's going to give you feedback so let's get it lined up. We're going to use a golf club here just behind that. And as I take my club away, we want to see when I've taken that away, in my eye line, I'm now covering the face of that brand new Mizuno wedge. So You're it's the gift that keeps on giving, Chris. So we're going to get around about a size nine away, yeah. UK size nine. And then from there, we're going to be able to keep that club a little bit more out in front of us there. Covering that nice and neutral, nice and tall. You'll that see lovely spin. neutral spin. Stop it. Oh, it's still on its axis as well. It's still on the axis. It rolls straight over. Just didn't take that break at the end, but practice makes perfect. James, I'm going to help you leave the club in. Thanks, mate. But you've not had the practice shots that I've had. So in James comes. So James What does is... it break? It didn't break much, so you can aim a little bit further right. Oh, James doesn't need the club. No. He's above it. Straight in. Can he beat it? So nice and neutral again there for James. Just not the pace. But I enjoyed that as a chip though. It was a good... Perfect. Yes, yeah, so we know James there. Nice and neutral. But that... fair, I get another go, really. Oh, I knew something like that was coming along. There was... What a finely tuned athlete there, James. See that? He's eager Shift for his second, pace. second attempt. That was like me coming down the mile when I did the marathon, that. Those were the days. Those were the days. Right. right, so reline it up. Again, guys, nice. You only need a sleeve of golf balls here to do this. Keep practicing. Nice and neutral. Again, a fantastic roll on that. Yeah! And what a great lip out. And that takes you, James. Further away than me, so second attempt, no good. Let's get in no James. Good. Let's get in James's favourite place, the bunker where he is a wizard. Yeah, I do like bunkers. I've promoted him. James is going to talk us through it. So generally, guys, what you see a lot of people try and do in a bunker is open that face up. Come on, Chris, come in and show us. There's loads oh. of footmarks. Apparently people don't rate bunkers in Florida. Can't but actually see a rate. What a lot honest. of people would do is open the face up. Then this is actually how we got taught to teach bunker shots back in the day, which I still can't get my head around, but you'd aim left 
and then the ball would generally come out a little bit right but nowhere near the target and it come out with not a neutral spin axis so you'd have to pretty much aim the ball there even yeah. when the flag's there and you would hope that it comes out properly and we're in the business of hoping we're the business of doing something which can actually work so and be repeatable exactly so i'm going to line that ball up and this is something which again chris keeps saying just buy a sleeve of these balls and help if you struggle with bunker shots continue that line as you can see there and the ball on, on the line there that james has drawn you'll see it does go a little bit left of the flag but that's because that's how the club is designed to work it will yeah, have to arc around in. my body thank yeah. you for mentioning that chris but what i'm going to, when I open the face up then i'm going to lower the hands down a nice neutral spin on it and hopefully you'll see when this rolls out it will roll out with a nice neutral spin let's have another go at that chris had a few practices at those again this kind of bunker shot kind of 30 yards i'm more than happy with that need to be realistic with what we want and again watch this roll out now should still have that nice neutral axis when it lands so we're in control of that golf ball see the axis on those chris yeah we could see that so nice and oh, i've just kicked the camera but some nice spin on there you saw on the second shot certainly stop quick from a nice high parachuting bunker shot and now for the competition always oh, brought it for the competition you i that's still rolling isn't it nicely that's a fantastic shot so very neutral there as we'd expect good too well Two good shots. Two good shots with the new Mizuno wedges. S23s that are on our giveaway, guys, on Get Good at Golf. If you are looking to improve your game, go over there. We are have got something new releasing on Sunday, the 29th of January, and you'll be in with a chance to win a full set of the brand new Mizuno S23 wedges in the lofts of 50, 54, and 58, as you can guess. It was me who chose the lofts, not James. You're not getting closer than that. I've just had a practice swing in there. I do apologise, <laughs> everyone, but can't do that. Right, let's have a look. Oh, it was neutral spin, but not enough. Not enough. Pressure again, that's another one where I've caught before. We can certainly see that's two weeks in a row where I've caught it a little bit before the ball. There's some practice to do. Damien. For me. Right, so final thing we can do with these tricks and divide golf. Well, it's not the final thing we can do, but. We can do anything with them. We can do anything with them, including losing them, but we yeah. haven't lost them yet. We've not lost one yet. So we're going to be talking now about lining putts up. So this is a distance here that everybody hates, even your tour pros. We've got three feet here. Everyone gets over these. You've done a good putt. You've probably gone from 30 feet on this putting green. You've gone up the ridge. You've got here. You're thinking, right, I just need to get out with yeah, a two-putt. Done the hard work. Done the hard work. But we get over this and we're not sure. Nobody lines it up right. And everyone's thinking, oh, yeah, I'll just hit a normal putt. Oh, I've missed it. Again, everything's got all tight. Everything's tense. But with this ball, we can line it up and make sure we're getting feedback so you need to figure out why you're missing these putts guys and the way to do it here so i'm going to line that up to my target i've got this right at the flag so center i'm leaving the flag in i'm going to put a good stroke on this and we'll be able to see what kind of roll we get on this so if i come in set up neutral hit a putt you can see there straight away that ball rolled end over end if you're in here and you've lined that up now and you're using these golf balls to practice hopefully at home and on the putting green if we get here and start to see that the ball doesn't roll good not a great example because it still went in but we're going to be inconsistent where that ball is going to start you saw that just went in the left hand side if that's got any sign any kind of break on there we're not going to hold it we can see straight away i've cut across the ball so you can start to get down there and think right i need to work on that so i need to get the ball lined up the funny thing is chris as well so many people think oh i've misread that and it's not it's a bad stroke yeah exactly and it's helping you break down was it your technique was it your green read or was it your pace there that just went in because it's a straight putt but if that's a breaking putt and it was a right to left that would be missing low what a lovely dog there as well by the way a lovely dog. he's a good there. boy him, isn't he he looks better behaved than my dog. He's a good boy. So we want to get on here, guys. If you're cutting across it, get the putter feeling like it's going a little bit straighter back. And if anything, out to the right. 
and get the opposite spin. If we can get, get it drawing a little bit into the hole, we can then bring it back and neutralize it. So it's a fantastic ball for practice, guys, not only on your bumper and runs, not only in the bunker, here on the putting green, but also off the tee and in the fairway. And we're gonna be talking about that on Get Good at Golf. Guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again later in the week.